Yeah, be brave and you know make change. Um, you know we're all in it together when it comes to reconciliation. Um, something different like to do the, the writers um, workshop because um, it is a way of just bringing the community together you know have a cuppa have a yarn you know um, they can just write what they feel or you know some experiences um, that they've gone through um, we've got some strong generation um, elders here you know so it's lovely for them to be able to share their story with um, everyone that's here today um, and you know they're looking for support to write their personal stories you know what they've gone through in their life so this is an opportunity to connect with other um, you know, guest speakers and visitors to see how they can be supported um, to do that Well, there's a negative, there's always positives. There, there was a lot of good times we have had. I've had in my upbringing, but then there were bad times too, but we try not, you know, dwell on the bad. Dwell on the bad, right, to inform on the good things I went through in that, because I benefit from both worlds, so, okay. I'd like my children to know that I do not want them to be ever, ever be prejudiced or anything. Okay? So when they read this writing, they'll understand what their grandmother's all about. Be thankful. For the hard times, they can only make you stronger. Struggles are required in life because in order to stand up, you got to know what it's like falling down. And I guess, you know, with the City Council as well, you know, um, we've got a reconciliation uh, plan there that um, local community has been involved with establishing um, in partnership with the Council. Um, and that's how my roles come about. Um, so I'm the first First Nations Engagement Officer um, situated at City Council and it gives me the opportunity to connect um, with the team there to you know, be involved with workshops like this and um, you know, connect and engage with the community. I'm not a movie star, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, folks. <laughs>